Yeah. Got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I think, uh, think off Cake Jr. just lost his mind. I liked him, too. Uh, I mean, he's a very likable guy. Yeah. He's liberal, but now I think he caught that progressive um, <laughs> virus. Yeah. He lost his damn mind. because it. <laughs> see, what that progressive virus does, it infects you, right? Yeah. It starts and, off as liberalism. <laughs> You know, Which it's, is fine. It's, it's in a cocoon. It's, um, it's just a virus, but the body doesn't realize realizes your immune system doesn't detect it. <laughs> and then it starts to spread, and before you know it, yeah, it starts you eating got your brain. Purple hair, you know? Yeah, it starts eating your brain. Watch what he had. He was on Sake Still. She got a new podcast on YouTube. She's a former ESPN. Yeah. She's doing her own thing, man. She's doing her, yeah. Yeah, she left ESPN, that woke ass company. Hey, but uh, check out what he had to say. But so to leave, so so in other words, keeping it as is with Roe versus Wade having been overturned and leaving it up to the states to determine if and when a woman can have an abortion. No, I wouldn't leave it to the states. You wouldn't, right? No, I would. I. You would I, say completely. It's up to know, the woman. I believe is what, we should leave it to the woman. We shouldn't have government involved. Even if it's full term. Even if it's full term. <laughs> okay, and I think. That's crazy. Because if you're a pregnant woman, you like say say you're in your third trimester. You've been walking around for eight, nine months. Yeah, you walk your big fat ass into the abortion <laughs> clinic. So you know what? You know what? This is not for me. I changed my mind. At that point, you don't have an abortion. They would do an emergency C section. They would try to save the baby's life, I would think. No, they would um <clears throat> No, you can still kill it. No, but that's gross. Of course it's gross. It's actually murder. I mean, my what? daughter, let me say this. My daughter was born a preemie. She was born at seven months. Yeah. She was two months early. She came out. I was scared, but she could breathe and everything on her own. Yeah. And she was in the hospital maybe two, three weeks. Yeah. And we took her home. Yeah. Full term, you've been sitting, eating, feeling this baby growing inside of you, kicking, moving. Yeah. And you go through this process for eight Oh, damn near nine months. Then you say, you know what? I can't do this. You, that's not an indictment on the baby. It's an indictment on you. You're mentally ill. You're sick. What woman would do that? And you I, act like they, they're talking like the baby, like it's some kind of, like it's a damn parasite or something. And at that point, you don't have an abortion. They do a C-section. What do you want them to, I ain't going to even go with that because it's just, Discussing, I don't want to turn a lot of my viewers off, but look, if a woman changed her mind, they would do a C-section. If it's allowed, I think in most states, you know, it's got to be some law in the books. That, what, are you, you know, what are you talking about? There's no law in the books. A woman can go in and do that. At what? Full term? Eight, nine months? In these woke states, yeah. That's just sick. She can walk in there with them big swollen ankles, all that damn fluid in her knees. Got all that damn breast milk going. No, the breast milk don't come after mean, the baby's born. What are you talking about? Huh? No, the baby don't breast milk. Well, stuff. I'm not a woman. I don't know. You've had kids before, though. Huh? I ain't had no kids. My wife yeah, had kids. Yeah, but you don't remember the process? I don't know when these bitches start making Good. milk. It's after the baby's born, Kevin. So after ba after she gives birth, they start producing milk. Yeah, the, but that's the brain, the brain know, sends a hormone. That's what I'm saying. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. If a woman goes in there... And has an, um, a C-section. There's a hormone that's produced, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was. That's what I was saying. Hey, listen. Back to RFK. I think this dude is part of the Trump campaign now. <laughs> I, I think, think. I, I think, think he's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> I think Trump paid this dude off. <laughs> he's actually on the Trump campaign. And I mean, because yeah. you're not at this point, you're not going to be taking votes away from Trump. Yeah. You're going to be taking uh, votes away from Biden. Yeah, you're taking crazy people away from Biden because people on the right they never accept a woman going on a <laughs> full-term pregnancy. I changed my mind. Even, like, they say the right is racist. They don't even support black women doing that. Yeah. That's who's doing it, though. You know what? You know what the problem white people got? What the problem white the people got? Yeah, the problem conservative white people got. What was the, the problem? problem? We hold people to a standard. That the other side don't hold themselves up to. What are you saying? I'm saying morally, we are superior. Our policies are... Well, conservatives. Yeah. Are super, you know, our policies are... Are logical. 
rational. Yeah. What Republican, what conservative woman will walk into a damn abortion clinic nine months, baby kick and say, I don't want this? Only a big, fat, liberal, crazy liberal would do that. No, it wouldn't even be a liberal, it's a progressive. Well, you know, they, they've don't corrupted the term liberal, Keith. Well, they're progressive, they ain't liberal. No, man, they're liberal, man. They've, they've hijacked the term liberal. Look what they did to the term woman. They say woman got cocks. They hijacked it. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. They would do, even if they're in a liberal state, New York, uh, Illinois, uh, California, they would do a C-section. What do y'all? They what they expect? They gonna rip the baby out limb? No, no, they can, uh, they can do that baby in while it's in there. Why would you do that? Just do a C-section. Nobody wants it. So it's up to the mother if the kid lives or dies? Where you been? At full term? Where you been? I can understand it within six weeks the heartbeat built. That makes sense. But full term? The baby's all moving and kicking? I mean, I think it's a tragedy whenever it happens. Yeah, it's... yeah, yeah, me too. I'm, yeah. I'm, when, I, when it comes to abortion, I'm pro-life, and I teach my kids that. But if somebody else wants to do it, I mean, I, don't, I can't control what they do. I just, we just think it should be regulated. But, Heavily um, regulated. Hey, bring up that video again. You know what's crazy? Uh, let me uh, let me see the um, the part where you can see both of them at the same time. <laughs> see what happened was RFK got way too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he got a cute black woman sitting on the sofa. Yeah, and they talking. She got the curly ass. She's smiling at him. Got her legs all up on the couch. <laughs> You know how white man, when he get too relaxed, just everything comes out. <laughs> you know what's crazy? My daughter got them same damn couches. I know. I recognize those couches. Where'd she get them at? I think, I, I can't remember. My daughter's got that same setup in her house. <laughs> it's a Kia, right? I don't think it was a Kia. Living space? A Kia. A Kia? Yeah, a Kia. Ikea. Ikea, you dumb Negro. What'd I say? A Kia. A Kia. <laughs> Kevin been taking Spanish lessons. He's turning everything into Spanish. I said, what? Ikea. <laughs> How you saying? Ikea. Ikea. I said, Ikea? Yeah. <laughs> it's some Spanish lessons you've been taking. <laughs> man, I didn't even get told of that, man. Hey, um. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, RF. <laughs> Keep yeah, we need Trump back in office. We need Trump back in office. I still like you. I still like you better than Joe. <laughs> Show's over. <laughs>